Cause hipsters are going down I said it don't stop, don't stop, don't stop Talking to me is stop Hello guys and welcome back to the F1 2016 career mode. We're here back at the model home of the Renault Sport Formula 1 team and we're here in Germany uh, for the German Grand Prix here in Hockenheim. So uh, looking at one of my favorite tracks uh, to drive out, you know, seems like a very exciting track to me. Last time in Hungary we ended up in P7 but I'm gonna go to, qualif to the practice station and hope we're gonna have a good practice station. So, um, my wheel, like, like, it doesn't turn as much as I need it, and, um, I think we have a technical issue, guys, <laughs> yes, oh my god, just wait a bit. And we're back in track, yep. And uh, I fixed the problem, <laughs> apparently, and uh, yeah, let's get into the time management test. And it is done, as you see, we'll come up with a line, perfect score in the time management test. So, yeah, you can see that I've been perfect throughout all, you know, um, the test, qualifying pace test, estimated qualifying position, it is 9. Ninth, so I accept it is a very good position. Actually, we exceeded the target, so teams would be very happy about that. And uh, the acclimatization test went very good. Welcome to Germany for today's qualifying session at the famous Hockenheim Ring. The pit lane lights will turn green in the next minute or two to signify the start of qualifying. In recent seasons, much talk has been made about tyre wear. Some say it gets in the way of the racing, others say it's always been part of the sport. Are we going to see drivers trying to look after their tyres here, or throw caution to the wind and worry about that when it becomes a problem? Tyre wear is always something you have to consider to a certain degree. Finding a good car balance that suits the circuit will help prolong the life of the tyre, but it's true that some circuits, such as this one, are more challenging than others. How hard you can push them depends on your strategy and how tight the battle is around you. So here we are guys on the qualifying session of um, the Germany, the German Grand Prix. So um, I have a setup, it is uh, not that complicated, like I've put a bit of uh, down, less downforce for the straights and nothing more, nothing less, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you my best lap and uh, yeah, hope for a good lap and hope to be in ninth place as the qualifying base test. So here we are guys, I'm going to stop talking of course. Then it comes the line to start our fastest lap. We're starting P11 for the moment. And yeah, this is our fastest lap. We improved a lot. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. I'm now across the final corners, we've done just a little bit of a mistake, run a bit on the gravel, but it's in a perfect lap for us, we're gonna go by 5 or 6 tests, it's going to be P9 for the German Grand Prix, and uh, yeah, the estimated qualified position is done, and oh my god, Mikko Rosberg, that has been very dangerous, I was about to go for another fast lap, but Mikko Rosberg just break too early there, on the wrong time. Anyway, it's gonna be P9 for the race. There's nowhere at all I'd rather be today than here at Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix. We have an incredibly competitive field this year, which means we should be in for a treat. 
And judging by the sea of people filling the grandstands, there's a fair-sized chunk of Germany that agrees with me. We're racing in the Rhine Valley this weekend at the home of many of the sport's finest competitors. The 2.8-mile Hockenheim ring requires precision through the technical stadium section and great raw speed down the long, flat-out curve towards the popular overtaking zone of the Turn 6 hairpin. Watch out for a lot of wheel-to-wheel -wheel action there today. And joining me on this journey today is Anthony Davidson. Now, Ant, it's the home race for Mercedes, so tell me from your perspective as a driver, does a team's attitude change for their home race? Obviously a home victory, particularly good marketing, you think, play on the national pride side of things a bit, but do you see that all come through at all? Uh, not really, to be honest. I mean, you do get a bit of a pep talk, I suppose. There's certainly somewhat of a raised sense of importance when it's the team's home race, but at the end of the day, we're all professionals. I mean, I want to win every race I compete in, and the teams want to win every race they compete in too. So the stakes are unbelievably high at this level. I mean, the effort is 100%, 24-7 all year round, whether it's your home Grand Prix or not. This is our engine supplier's home Grand Prix. Let's give them a race worth watching. This game is like... Um, Cod is for the next bus, uh, please fix that. Um, we are a French company, not a German company. I would... Uh, like... Game... What the fuck? Renault is from Fr if it's from France, if I'm correct. But anyways, this is our strategy, a two-stop strategy. Starting on a super soft, going onto a set of soft tires, and uh, then onto a set of mediums. But as you can see, up on the weather prediction, it is going to rain for the last 10 or 8 laps. So it seems like a very interesting strategy to me. If you could go on a set of mediums, maybe for the second stint, then we could possibly go till the end and uh, go into a set of fingers but we could uh, go till the rain on a set of softs uh, it's gonna be a little bit more aggressive a little bit more cautious we'll see what we're gonna do but uh, in terms of strategy it's gonna be very interesting because every single race is very interesting as I can, as I can, as you can see it's, it's, it's mostly rain in, in every single race so be nice at the start of this race the set of formation lap get some temperature on those tires and on the brakes and yeah, get into the sun and hope for a good race. We have lined up for the, on the grid and it's time for the German Grand Prix. I see these five lights and it's now lights out, uh, lights out and away we go. And it's Kimi Ragan and getting off to a very few bad start. Uh, put a start to go down the inside of him. We're going to take it very cautious into turn one and not going to take any risk. But no, in this turn, we are going to take the risk down inside of both the fiends. The one is from Ferrari, the other from Williams. We're going to get both of them as they run wide and lose many positions. We're going to go now and stick to the sleeping room of Felipe Massa, who is stuck behind Mika Rosberg. We're going to try and possibly get both of them there. Down inside of them, down inside of Massa. And Rosberg, oh, Hamilton, they're very, very slow. We almost touched him there. Very, very good start. We're already up in P5. Let's see how the pace is and how and if we are going to be competitive. Fetten and Hamilton having a good battle there. We're going to try and get advantage of that down inside of Sebastian Vettel will go. Hamilton goes pretty slow there. We could have taken also here, but very exciting there by the, the German Sebastian Vettel. We're going to get him with uh, our Renault power unit, but uh, up in the P4 we go. Very good uh, move there on Sebastian Vettel. Two Red Bulls are having an almighty battle and they have made contact there. Oh, Hamilton goes down the inside of Verstappen changes his line. We can try and possibly get both of them into this uh, second corner. We got Hamilton and Verstappen. We're up into P2. Awesome, awesome chances there to take the lead now from Gianni Ricardo into the slipstreaming with the help of DRS. And that's going to put us into the lead of the German Grand Prix. Awesome start. Three laps in this race, we run a little bit wide there. Our tyres are getting a little bit worn. It's time for a pit stop in some laps, but we're into the lead and we're leading a race. Unbelievable. Lap six, guys, it's time for a programized pit stop. We got Hamilton stuck behind us. I hope we're not gonna lose any positions to him. And um, yeah, he's uh, just right behind us, so there's a slight chance he's gonna take us, but I hope no. Please do a good pit stop there. 
And ah oh my god, it's a it's a freaking shit box. Our pit crew is a shit box. Like I don't know these past all those guys. Just did Oh, in Hamilton, uh, Ricardo, and the Williams. The Williams. Are you mad? Something's got to change with the pit crew. Right, and he's exiting the pit steps at the same time. We're gonna. Oh my goodness me! Been squeezed there by Gutierrez. As at the same time, we're gonna get the stop and down in we go up into P12. Next stop ahead of us is uh, Nico Rosberg. We really need a miracle to catch up with those guys. We're very close to Rosberg now, and uh, we're planning a move sooner or later. Fastest lap there by us. We just seem to have the pace on that set of soft tires. And for the moment, I'm planning a move down the south. Nico Rosberg, is it gonna happen now? None. Yes, it is. Pretty good move there on Rosberg. And up into P11. Next to my of us is NASA, who actually held up Hamilton. We passed NASA, and now it's time for Lewis Hamilton. We caught up with him. We had a better pace than him. As he's on the medium tires also, the strategy that I was thinking of making also because as the rain is going to come down very soon, you can also see the clouds as we get it. Hamilton up into P9. And it's safety car! Safety car as the rain has started. And for anyone wondering, we're into the lead because everyone has done its pit stops. We're into the lead, cleaning the lead. We haven't done any more moves than the Hamilton move. But safety car conditions are so tire was very bad, so Bob Rain is gonna come down. So we're gonna stay behind the safety car. So for anyone wondering, um, my my team radio says to switch into an alternative strategy. It's lap 21. We're going for the inters. Our tires, our soft tires are so bad. We've done the correct strategy. We're going to the softs. You can see 76 percent. We got to the soft, overtook the others, the Mercedes, the Ferraris, who were on the medium, and now the safety car came at the right exact time where we needed it. Safety car coming in, guys, and uh, of course I'm gonna come into the pits now on this lap. The, this, has, this is intermediate conditions, and it came into the exact same time as I needed it because our tires were worn and we just couldn't hold on. So the safety car has come in, and it's now time for our pit stop. No one has come in! No one has come in. That's ridiculous from the AI there, who just keeps it on on the on the dry tires. Okay, some some drivers are pitting, but I think it's time for Inters. 2.1 pit stop, amazing pit stop there. I just even even if they, it wasn't wet conditions, I just couldn't hold it on on the soft. My tires were dead, and I just couldn't push them anymore. So amazing that the safety car came on the lap. And now we're on the Inters, and I believe that these are the right tires for that moment. I think that the others are going to have a, a huge amount of uh, overseer throughout the last corners. And as you can see, everyone has speeded now in the, the next lap, of course. But we've done the perfect strategy, and that's going to put us into P1 ahead of Rosberg and Perez, who's in set P2 and P3 with a gap of 10 seconds. Lap 34 guys, Rosberg is stuck behind us. Who's, he, who's that guy who has died? Oh my god, it's Kevin Magnussen. And it must have been an engine problem for him. Unfortunately for him, he was in a very good position. He was P7 or P6. Very bad there for him. Pretty unlucky throughout this whole season. But the main thing is that we're leading a race. We're coming to the last corners after an amazing strategy. An amazing pace on the drives. We're gonna come across now the final corner and now for everyone wondering yeah it's real it's not a dream we're gonna win our first ever race in f 116 with Renault and it's a start of a new era the start of the Renault era the start of our era just get in come on guys unbelievable scenes
unbelievable scenes guys we have won our first ever race it's just unbelievable I don't know how to how to explain that I I really don't know how to explain that. I wish you could see my live reaction. I like when I cross the line, I stood up from the chair. Like I even I even done a high five with my dad. I'm not even joking. I've done a high five with my dad, and I was so happy. He was like, "Okay, calm down. You just want to race an F1 to 1816. Just calm down." You, you should have watched my live reaction, I wish I had a webcam or something. Even my live commentary, like, unbelievable scenes, I don't know how to explain this. I'm not even joking, this is a new era. This is a new era. The Renault era, I don't know if it, if, if it, if, if it is going to begin now, but um, it is going to begin very soon, guys. So, um, also, I'm planning a new intro for the next episode. So, I'm wondering if you are in Facebook. If you follow me on Facebook, you will know about that. And uh, yeah, no longer Team and Marduk uh, intro, you know. But uh, anyways, that's the next time we're in P7. Just uh, once again ahead of uh, Valtteri Bottas and quite also close to the Red Bulls. You know, the likes of Red Bull, Ferrari could be could be a top four finish. You never know. You never know what can happen. If we continue in that form, it would be. Very interesting to see how well we're gonna do. Magnus is still on the same points after his retirement there from the Grand Prix. Very unlucky for the Danish driver. He's in the brilliant talent, but very unlucky, you know. A lot of times, like, he, he's not performing as well as possible, but also when he does, the engine is not that good. But in the constructors, look at this. We just overtook um, Williams, which is a very nice improvement to see, you know. We're on the same points, but. We got a win, which uh, counts as uh, a position. So up into P4, of course, there's no way we can catch up with the top teams. They like have two, three hundred points and something like this. So it's gonna be possible to catch up with them. So our target is P4. P4. My voice is dying. Oh my god, I've been commentating for a long time. Anyways, in the driver standings, of course, the target is P7 or more. But that was it for today, guys. If you enjoyed, smash the like button. If you share and subscribe, follow on Twitter and Instagram, ask me anyone's the same. But see the lads until tomorrow. I'll see you next time. Goodbye lads.